Since inception, this ETF has paid about seven times, and we can see the first payment was the biggest one, was about one dollar and ten cents, and of course, uh, second one was one dollar, and then he came down a little bit, and uh, you know, last month or I mean, at beginning of this month, they only pay uh, about seventy nine. But if we look at the average, we getting about 87 cents. So before we dive into this massive number, I want to show you the uh, this ETF and then if it's the right time for you to buy this ETF and how I'll also show you how you can uh, invest in this ETF to generate uh, massive income. So this is the first NASDAQ 100 ETF. Um, if you look at the price today, it's 1526. You look at this graph, it's just you feel like you're gonna puke because it's just going down. This is the max, right? If we look at year year to date, uh, year to date, it's just massive down. And we know because of the Nasdaq and S and P 500 right now, they are in a correction mode. And of course, this follows the Nasdaq. Um, you know, in a way, not follow a hundred percent. I'll show you the strategy what they use and how they track the Nasdaq. And also, I'm going to show you how much you can invest to generate uh, either $8,000 or $7,000 or 100000 a year. So that's a strategy I'm going to show you on this uh, in this video today. So just stick around. And if you like this content, just make sure you like it because I always give this type of update. So the price, um, you know, after... You know the the, the the 52 week range we can see is 15 or 2 to 20 so that's when it started because if we go to max we can see it started about 20 dollars and right now it's 15 so by look at this you'll be saying well you know what this is not good this is not doing great uh but you can just uh um make a judgment based of that we'll go to see other numbers but we look at the expense ratio right now is 0.99 so let's go to the source and see exactly what this ETF does. QQQY, don't confuse it to QQQ because that's QQQ uh, is a NASDAQ 100 um, ETF that actually track the NASDAQ. This one is a NASDAQ QQQ enhanced option income strategy. So this is sponsored by uh, or is uh, managed by Defiance and we can see distribution rate right now is 56.94 that's just as a current market but it's going to be more than that when i'm going to show you on my spreadsheet so what this etf does uh, qqq is a first put right option uh, using daily option to seek uh, enhanced yield for investors to pay monthly so the, what they do is uh, i'm going to read here a little bit you can see the description of this one qqq aims to achieve consistent monthly yield distribution for investors coupled with equity market exposure to the nasdaq 100 QQQ is an actively managed exchange traded fund ETF that seek to enhance the income constructed of treasuries and NASDAQ 100 options. Okay, the strategy objective is to generate upsized monthly distribution by selling option premium on a daily basis. The fund uses daily option to realize rapid time decay by selling uh, in the money put. So most other ETFs, whenever they write call option, they do uh, on the uh, monthly or by two week or three weeks. You know, that's most ETF, ETF managers do write call that way. But this one actually does on a daily basis. So they buy today and then they sell the call today, either is a put or call option. You know, um, and an investment objective of this fund is to uh, seek current income. That's the main thing, of course. You can see here is fifty six, and then the secondary objective is to uh, have to make you have exposure to the Nasdaq one hundred, uh, subject to a limit on potential investment gain. And here, there's a disclaimer here. There's no guarantee that the fund investment uh, strategy will properly implement will be properly imp implemented. An investor may lose some or all of its investment. So that's just a disclosure on. Uh, they're, they're, they're required to put on there. I don't believe you're going to lose uh, all your money. Um, you know, there's nothing really guaranteed about investment, but you're not going to lose all your money. But if we look at the fund data and the pricing, we can see right now it has accumulated about two uh, million and sixty one. So that's uh, quite sized since it's been incepted, which is about seven months ago. Uh, we can see the price right now is fifteen seventeen, and we I showed you on uh, you know Yahoo Finance was fifteen twenty six. Uh, because of course the website uh, usually is a little bit behind but we can see closing price here on the website it says 15 16 but we've seen on yahoo finance was 16 uh 26 cents um we look at the share outstanding over 17 million um the inception date of this fund it came on september uh 13 2023 
so if you look at september to uh now may uh this is like almost end of end of april so it's been seven months to eight months now so so it's been it's been out for quite some time now not a year yet but it's going there soon uh, if we look at the expense ratio, is 0.99. For those people who are following uh, Yelmax ETFs, most of Yelmax ETFs, all of them, they are 0.99. That's its expense ratio, right? There, there, there will be some other expenses. They, they, there's no disclosure here, but it will be about 120, 124, something like that. But expense ratio right now we have here officially is 0.99. Uh, we can look at the 30-day sec, uh, sec uh, which is Security and Exchange Commission. Yield is a 424. This is a kind of official yield, right? Rather than uh, the one we have up there, you know, 56. This is the yield that we have, distribution rate. But the sec yield, it's 424. But all of all of these ETFs were higher yield ETF and cover call ETF. They do have that one. It's very little. Uh, and then, of course, the distribution rate is where it usually be. Because this one is based off what they, the money that they have and they invest in those treasury. And this is how they, that's a yield after the right call they get benefit and everything like that then this is a yield you get you're gonna get i mean of course this yield uh you know uh fluctuate based on the price and how much they pay so if you look at the performance of this fund remember i told you uh don't just uh, jump into conclusion when you see the yahoo chart it shows you it went down 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 but look at since inception has returned about 12 percent uh that's a total that's enough and if we look at the market price has returned about 11.95 so round up to 12 percent so that's not bad because s p 500 if you invest in uh voo for example uh the uh, vanguard uh, s p 500 you're gonna get about 12 13 percent so that's pretty much up to the market right you know um of course this is included all the dividends that you reinvest not the price itself so that's the difference we look at the top holdings right remember it's a nasdaq 100 you don't see any nvidia you don't see any apple you don't see microsoft here because as i say this one does not hold uh the stock uh directly um, i think they've put something here you can see the fund does not invest directly in companies that are compromised the index right so it does not do that they do something called uh synthetic cover call leverage so they do hold a bunch of um treasury and then of course they use that as collateral to write calls and you can see here 95 percent or 51 percent is uh, united states uh, treasury note united states treasury bill right you know 47 you can see other cash you can see first american government obligation so they use the same pretty much the same strategy as yield max etfs does um, you know, uh, and that's what the yield, the sec yield comes from because, of course, of these high yield uh, uh, bonds that they hold. And uh, that's just a money cash to have in order for them to write calls. And we look at the distribution right now. Uh, we can see here is a nine. Uh, the, the, the first distribution that they paid was um, was on October 5th. And that was one dollar I showed you, one dollar and ten. Uh, and then there's a schedule of even they're gonna pay for the whole year. But the last one they paid was seventy nine uh, point seventy nine cents, and that was on uh, April fourth. Now I'm coming to this spreadsheet to show you exactly how much you can make um, if you invest a certain amount of money for you to actually retire using this fund. So we we'll look at the here QQQ. Um, that's a ticker symbol, of course. And then current uh, the price right now is fifteen twenty six. Um, if you allocate your money, uh, uh, of course, current, it will be 100% of your money, for example, on the, on the month that I'm going to show you. Current uh, price, uh, what they paid right now, is uh, 79 uh, If you look at the annual, if you take that one times 12, it, it will be $9.48. If annual uh, rate, annual uh, yield will be about 62 That's a current payment but if you look at the average so what i did average meaning i take all of these you know since inception because we can see here there's one dollar there's one dollar there's 93 cents there's 62 cents there's 85 cents there's 80 there's 79 so what i did just the average we get 87 for if we look at the average though we go with average we're getting uh it's a ten dollar and 44 cents um per year and then the uh, the it jumps you know now your yield will be 68 percent so 68 percent what that means so on average let's go to the regular one so this is on the current distribution so if you invest one 104 you're going to get uh 6815 shares and that will give you about uh, 5384 
monthly income and equal to 64,608. Uh, if you up a little bit, you know, you put 145, you go to get 9,500 shares and you're going to get a 7,000 a month uh, and which equal to $90,000. That's a lot of money. Um, you know, in a lot of places in the United States, you can retire with $90,000, you know, regardless where you live. So what I'm saying, if you have one or four and you want to go all in, for example, you can literally put one four using that fund to retire. But you have to understand, of course, some months they don't pay the same, but because you know average is 87, then you can just average that way rather than going with monthly. Um, you know, that's kind of way to make sure your portfolio is generate monthly income and sustainable ones. You have to kind of average that way. And if you want to help, I can do that for you. But if we look at that average now distribution, that's just the regular current income, which was 79 cents. So now if we go to average distribution, which is 89, we look at 104, it's going to give you 6,800 uh, 6, shares, uh, and then that will be 5,924. Uh, so you can see if we go, the average is a little bit more than the last price that I gave you, right? Uh, if we look at the, if you put the same amount of 145, you know, 145,000, then you're getting... 9,502 shares and that will give you because the shit they're the same but what changes is the income because the yield increases right now you're getting uh, 8,264 a month that's a lot of money uh, you know uh, if you make passively 8,000 that's a good in income you can just retire and then that will be 99,201 so that's just an update on our series of uh, making money that you can use uh, your 100,000 or 145, 150 to actually make that much money a month and you can retire using this in any major city in the United States. So that's all for today. Uh, if you like this content, just make sure you smash the like button. And if you are not a subscriber, in order for you not to miss this type of date, just make sure you subscribe. Till we meet again next video. Bye bye. And make sure you leave your comment below so I know what you're thinking about this.